guys welcome back today I'm gonna to do a blending tutorial with a couple different types of paint and some mediums and I'm just going to show you how I would do it using um, <clears throat> these certain types of paints and mediums um, I've got two canvases here that I'm going to use and uh, I'm going to show you how I would blend with craft paint um, a heavier acrylic because craft paint is really thin a heavier acrylic with water and a heavier acrylic with a fluid medium and then no I'm sorry not fluid medium with uh, golden fluid acrylics and then two different ways to use a medium and then the last one will be how to uh, repaint over something that you might have messed up. So let me show you the kind of brushes I'm going to use. I will mostly be using mop brushes, but I will also just um, use this big flat brush because I know not everybody has mop brushes and not everybody has access to get them. I, I do not recommend using something really small unless you're working on a really small canvas. Um, and the reason for that is <clears throat> if I tried to use this flat brush and blend something on a size this large, by the time I get all of this paint covered, it's gonna be completely dry and not gonna have enough time to blend. So you definitely wanna use something bigger for a bigger canvas or whatever you're painting on and I'm going to use an additional piece of tape to cover this side up so that when I blend I don't go past this um, piece of tape because it's not that it's not that wide not very wide this first one is just going to be craft paint by itself and I've just got some craft paint here this is by Arteza or Arteza and the white that I'm going to use, because I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm not going to try to do any crazy colors. I'm just going to mix a color with white to blend. Um, the craft paint that I'm going to be using is from Walmart. Pink. This color is mulberry pink. And white. And I'm going to, oh, I didn't, I don't know if I told you where my mop brushes are from, but these are from Hobby Lobby. I've got multiple sizes. Uh, this is a three quarter inch. This is a one inch. This is a number 16. It does go up to number 20, which is the largest one, but I'm, I'm not going to need it. Uh, the only reason I would use it or might need it is if um, I... I run out of clean brushes and I need to fix something real quick. And <clears throat> plenty of paint on my brush. That is that is really important. You don't want it to be dripping, but you also don't want it to be dry. So I'm going to start with the pink down here. And this is just regular craft paint. And then I'm going to grab some white and I'm going to put it up here, same brush, and I'm going to move my way, oopsie, move my way down into that pink. I'm going to take a cloth and I'm going to wipe off a lot of that paint really quickly. Then I'm going to start up here in the white and I'm just going to sweep back and forth very, very lightly but also very, very quickly. Wipe it off a little bit. There's nothing on my brush except for the paint that I just put on there. It's already drying, so I need to pick it up. I need to be faster. Wipe it off again. And then 
you could also take a clean, another clean and dry mop brush. And if you want to, you can kind of crisscross a little bit to get rid of any like brush strokes. Make it really nice and gradient. I may need this brush again for another color, so I'm just gonna wipe it off. I'm not gonna get it wet. But there's not a lot of paint on here, so I think it'll be okay to use again. <clears throat> um, I'm not gonna use this brush again because it's got a lot of pink and white in it. So um, that's one method with just craft paint. I'm gonna dry it and then put this piece of tape over here so I can do the middle. I'm gonna cover this up just like I did on this side. And you can see where I went past it. I didn't wanna get it on my, um, my other little section here. Okay, now, let me set this out of the way. Now I'm gonna show you how to do um, this same thing with a heavier acrylic. This is by Arteza or Arteza, however you wanna say it, um, with water. And I would add some water to this because this is a thicker paint. And you can blend without the water, but it's a little bit harder. Still just gonna use that white that I've got out over here. I think I might might need just a touch more because I don't wanna to have to stop halfway through. <clears throat> and to do it with water, um, you can spray your canvas first. Sorry about that. You can spray your canvas first if you want, but I've never really been able to get that to work for me. So what I like to do, Let's see if I can uh, get this in frame for you somehow. I dip my mop brush in water. And then I squeeze it to wring it out a little bit. Okay. So if I squeeze it again now, nothing's going to come out. I'm sorry. Nothing else is going to come out. But it is still very, very wet. And... Can tap just a little bit on your cloth make sure there's no big drips and I'm gonna grab my purple with the water on my brush and I'm gonna start down here at the bottom now this is heavier acrylic so I'm going to have to work faster My white come up here plenty of paint on my brush you see how easily that's spreading across my canvas oh I forgot to mention what kind of canvas this is this is a canvas panel by Fredericks with this brush now I'm going to start up here in the lighter area and I'm going to crisscross back and forth wipe off the brush and then come back in very very lightly very little pressure with these mop brushes if you push too hard you're going to pull up the paint off of your canvas Now I'm going to go from the purple up, but it is starting to dry on me. So I'm going to have to stop. <clears throat> now, I see a little bit of canvas peeking through because that purple looks to be pretty transparent. So, I'm going to grab I'm going to grab another 
Mm. I'm gonna grab another brush real quick. And with no water, I'm gonna go over it again while it's still kind of wet. And then very, very lightly let up on the pressure as I reach the top. That purple is really transparent. Less pressure as I reach the, the lighter color. That way I'm not getting any really hard lines. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, I'm going to dry it. Cover this section up. closer and focus um, what is next golden fluids okay I'm just going to use Prussian blue now I, I realized that golden fluid acrylics is pretty expensive paint and one of the reasons for this tutorial was to show you how to blend the way that I would blend if I was using something other than golden fluids. You know, so like just regular craft paint. This is much, much cheaper. I just want to show you that there are different options and different ways of doing this. Done with that brush. I'm about to run out of brushes, guys, already. So I'm probably going to have to go wash them and dry them. But I can use this purple one. To apply the color it's uh i don't have like wet paint on there it's just it's clean enough to do what i need it to do now let's make sure i got plenty of white now with this one with the golden fluids i always mix it with craft paint and this blue is very um transparent so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some blue and mix it with some white. I almost always mix my color of golden fluids with some kind of craft paint. Whether it's white, black, or any other color, I always put some kind of craft paint in it to thicken it up a little bit because it is very transparent. Um, in with the blue. Plenty of paint on my brush. Okay. Cover up the bottom. Oh, that's covering really well, good. I must have put just the right amount of water, or not water, but the right amount of uh, white in there. <laughs> Come at the top. Work my way down into the blue. And with a clean and dry mop brush, I'm going to swirl. Those two colors together. Wipe it off, and then crisscross applesauce. Now I do have an entire tutorial dedicated 
to my method of acrylic blending, which is what you're seeing right now. Oh, I'm pulling up the paint right there. I'm pressing too hard with my mop brush. Uh, the only reason I'm still working it is because I'm trying to bring that color up to match this other, this other purple, but. really want them to be even so I'm actually gonna come up a little bit higher uh, just because I'm weird and OCD about stuff like that so you see how I'm dragging too much paint in that lighter area I'm gonna wipe off my brush and I'm gonna have to grab a little more white right there it was fine the way it was. I should have left it alone. <laughs> Add some more white up here. This is another clean and dry brush. The one that I added the white to. So we'll swirl it together and then crisscross it. Uh, I really wanted that to be even through there. That was the only reason I just did that. All right, let's see how that looks colors blended nicely uh, that tape is not the best for this but <laughs> and that's three different uh, basically three different types of paint and three different ways to blend so I'm gonna move on to the next one the next canvas all right, now I'm going to switch out my plate and I'm going to show you two different ways to do, um, to use this fluid meat. That's clear gesso. That's not what I want. <laughs> Matte fluid medium. I use this a lot for my fog. I'll show you two different ways to use this. This first way will be with a heavy acrylic. Well, it's not super heavy, but it's it's heavier. Um, with a medium on the brush. So some fluid medium. Uh, this paint is really old. Hopefully it's not like gross or bad at this point. Some color and then some white. Um, that's got water on it, so I don't want to use that. Uh, this brush is dirty. And I'm going to have to go wash my brushes and dry them before I start. Okay, so I have washed and dried my mop brushes, including the small ones. And I just used Dawn dish soap and just kind of went like this to wash them, get all the paint out. And then I used my hair dryer to dry them because you, you need your mop brushes to be clean and dry before you can blend with them. And I just held my hair dryer out about like this far and not direct heat. I just kind of wiggled it a little bit and then and rubbed my finger through the hair as it as I was drying. Medium on the brush. Um, I got to remember to use this brush next because I haven't used it yet. I don't want to forget that. Again, just going to cover up this extra little half here, this extra little piece. And medium on the brush. So this was my fluid medium, my color, and my white. So I'm going to grab some fluid medium and some green paint. I'm just gonna kind of mix that together over here. 
oh my goodness, that is real transparent. Medium fluid, I mean, medium and paint together. Oh my gosh, that is crazy transparent. Uh, that's going to need two coats. For sure. White. Yeah, stand up. Plenty of white paint on my brush. And there's fluid medium. Maybe if I go over this green with a little bit of that white, it won't be so bad. More green. Oh, goodness. I did not realize that green was going to be so transparent. <clears throat> Clean and dry mop brush. I will start up here. Crisscrossing. All the way down. Wipe off my brush. Now I'm going to pull some of that green up into the lighter color. So I'm going to start down here. Very, very light pressure. Oh, I'm sorry, not crisscross. I'll just go sweeping back and forth to get rid of those brush hairs or those brush marks. I can't talk and paint at the same time, apparently. <laughs> so since that was is so transparent and I was, <coughs> excuse me, completely unprepared for that, um, I'm going to go over this again. So that'll be, you know, just an extra little lesson. Um, but since I used my hair dryer on it to make it dry, I'm going to make sure that my canvas is nice and cool before I do it again. Before I try to blend again. So I'm going to prepare for this while it's cooling down. I'll make sure this mop brush is wiped off. Cause I'm just going to use it again. It'll be okay. Cause I'm using the same color again. It's not a huge deal at this point. It's still um, dry enough to to do this. Green paint, that's covering better. Whew. Working very, very quickly. Very, 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 very quickly. White at the top. Plenty of paint on my brush again. Now, anytime you're painting over existing paint, you're gonna need a little bit more paint than you used the last time you did it. Uh, because the acrylic is going to dry faster with existing paint under it. I don't know why, but it will. <laughs> Even with a medium, it's going to dry faster. I got a situation happening down here. Maybe I didn't add enough extra paint. So I'm going to try to fix that in just one second, but I got to hurry and get these colors blended together up here. Uh, more green paint. Oh, that's got white in it. Oh, I just grabbed my brush with the white. See, this crap happens. <laughs> Doesn't always go super smoothly. I'm gonna use a slightly shorter mop brush. It's a little stiffer than that big one I was just using. And that is because my paint is drying on me. And I need something with a little more pressure to get it blended before it dries completely and I can't do anything with it.
Now, medium on the canvas. And I like this method better than this one, than putting the medium on your brush because you have way more control over your medium when it's on your canvas rather than on your brush. Because I was just dipping. There was no like ratio or whatever to to go with. Um, I wonder if I could use this brush. Well, I don't want to use the same brush again because I don't want to like, uh, I want this to be a controlled <laughs> tutorial, controlled experiment. Uh, well, that's got medium on it too. So I don't want to use that brush anymore or this one. Told you I was going to need a lot of brushes. Oh, and I'm also, I'm going to use this brush because I keep forgetting. I'm going to hold it so I don't forget. Um, I need some more medium. I'm glad I didn't try to get that gesso out and use it on accident. I'm going to use this mop brush. What oh, was that dry? That one is not quite dry enough. This one I have not used yet. So I'm going to use this mop brush to put the medium on the canvas. And then I will use this to blend, hopefully. Because I don't use these brushes very often. All right. Medium on the canvas first. Did I get enough out? I did not get enough out. Oh my God, I gotta hurry. Even if, even though it's a slow drying medium, like it slows your paint down, it still dries fairly quickly. So just a nice layer, not a whole lot. How about I show you what I'm doing, sorry. Not a whole lot, but enough that your paintbrush just kind of glides across the canvas. Green paint. Oh, no, I'm, I was going to use a different green. No. Yes, I'll use that same green. My bad. No. And some green paint. Green paint. Right over top of that medium. This is also extremely transparent. So look how much paint I'm putting on here. A lot. There's a lot of paint. And some white at the top. That is not going to be much of a gradient blend, is it? Because that green is so... I'm going to grab a little bit of the darker green to darken this bottom part up. And this is the thicker acrylic. This is the thickest acrylic that I own. Just to make it darker at the bottom. Alright, wipe off this brush. <clears throat> and then very lightly, that is driving me up the wall. Man, alive. I, I, why did I pick such transparent colors to do this? Wipe off my brush again. Back and forth. Wipe it off. I got a really dark green in this brush. I do not use, like using brushes like this, honestly. I'm going to have to redo this one. Um, that green is so transparent. Like crazy transparent. And adding that medium to it did not help. get rid of these lines make it a little solid <laughs> I 
you can blend with these kind of brushes, but I don't like it. I just, I mean, you can see how much softer that blend is with the mop brush. I'm gonna try it again. Hmm. But not, I mean, I'm, I'm still going to use a flat brush. This is the from the same set, okay, I'll show you. These are both from the Deco Enchanted set. They're the same type of brush. This one's just a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna dry it and Make sure I got enough medium out. This is the brush, whoopsie. Ah, get off there, quit, go away. This is the brush that I used to put the medium on the canvas first, so I'm just gonna use it again. Medium on the canvas. I am not a big fan of using mediums to blend acrylic. It is an option, and I highly recommend that you experiment with different things. Like all of the different ways that I'm experimenting right now, I recommend that you do that too on your own. And then you will find something that works for you. Dark green at the bottom. Man, I absolutely despise this green. I do not like this green. <laughs> I'm just using that dark green at the bottom uh, so that I get a darker color. And it's doing much better now. I can't see a whole bunch of canvas behind the green. Grab the white. Just kind of throwing it on here. Oh my goodness, that might have been too much white. Add a little more green to that white because it was really white. Wipe off my brush very very gently I'm just gonna go back and forth and remove these brush hairs I'm gonna crisscross a little bit like this but not not big crisscrosses I mean you can do big crisscrosses if you want and if you'll notice I've got a lot of paint on my canvas my paintbrush at all times runs really smoothly across the canvas. You need that. Some people will say, don't use too much paint. I say, if you don't use enough paint, it's going to dry too quickly. Everybody has their own ways of blending. Again, just experiment with lots of different stuff until you figure out what works for you. If you can't get golden fluid acrylics, try some craft paint, try some medium. If you only have heavy body acrylics, try water, try, try using medium with it, just experiment. I'm pushing a little bit harder because my paint is drying down here at the bottom. I got like three different colors of green on here right now. It goes into like a lime or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Last one. I'm going to show you how to go back over again which I've kind of already done that twice now on this easel or on this canvas. But I got one more spot. So I'm gonna do it. This purple was what was so transparent, right? I'm asking you guys to tell me. <laughs> uh, I don't need my medium brush anymore. 
All right. Um, no water, no nothing. Just paint right out of the tube by Arteza. I'm going to pick Arteza because I, I don't know how you say it. And I'm always saying Arteza or Arteza. I'm just going to call it Arteza. And if that's not it, then, you know, whatever. Plenty of paint on my brush, on my canvas. Look how smoothly that goes across my canvas. That is like the key. I mean, this is actually turning out fine the way it is without me redoing it, but I will still show you. Mop brush, swirly, swirly. Blend those two colors together. And then crisscross applesauce and sweep. Watch, this is what happens if I push too hard. I pull up my paint. If I very, very lightly, like a feather, brush right over top of it and be gentle, I don't get that. That doesn't happen. I'm gonna dry it and then paint back over it. And I see I've got lots of brush hair, so that's good. Uh, if you use mop brushes, you're gonna have, they're gonna shed, it just happens. And um, the way that I deal with that is while I'm drying, I will just gently touch the hair. Most of the time it will just fly right. And I'm going to use the same brush that I used the first time to apply the paint. This time I'm going to add some water to my brush to go back over it. Because usually when I go back over paint, I add water. Again, I think I said this earlier, but that's just because when you paint over existing paint, it dries quicker and the water is going to help me. So dip it in water. And I'm going to get my fingers filthy by doing this, but squeeze it to wring it. I'm sorry you're out of focus, but like I don't have any more room. Now my fingers are purple. Wet brush, plenty of paint. And I'm just going to slap it on there pretty heavily more paint this time than what I was using the last time. Again, just because it will dry faster. Really quickly, blend that white down into the purple and swirl, swirl, swirl. Y'all know that I forget a lot. And y'all know that I repeat myself a lot. So I don't know if I've already said this, but I have an entire tutorial on acrylic blending. I think I already said it, but I'm gonna say it again. I have an entire tutorial dedicated to acrylic blending the way that I'm blending right now to get that really smooth and gradient blend. I talk about these mop brushes, the type of mop brushes that they are, why they're important, why the type of paint that you're using is important, your canvas texture, how to deal with brush hairs, how to repaint over something if you mess up. It's a really good tutorial. I spent a lot of time on it. It's one of the biggest questions that I get asked all the time is how do you blend so well with acrylic? What kind of paint are you using? What, what's the secret? What's the trick? 
and my blending tutorial is tells you all of that. Oh, that bled so much. Not the best tape ever for me to use just then. Okay, I messed that up big time with the tape. And then it also pulled up paint here with my tape. But I love this method with the mop brush. It's my favorite by far. I don't like using mediums at all. I just, I, I can't get the same effect with mediums. You might be able to, and I highly recommend that you give it a shot anyway. Medium on the brush, medium on the canvas, no mediums painted twice. This one turned out better than anything I've painted yet. This one was just craft paint. It also turned out great. This is, I, I use craft paint and golden fluids. This was the golden fluid. Um, I did mess this up down here a little bit. So I would probably go back over that again. But that blend is, is great. This one was, I don't remember what this one was. It was purple and, purple and water. I don't like to use water a whole lot, but it still turned out great. I did end up using water on this one as well because I painted over it, but yeah. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free in the comments to ask. I will answer any questions that you have about this. I really hope this helps. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked today's video, give that like button a tap and please consider subscribing. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok where I upload content almost daily. Thank you for watching.